Hi, in, in this video I will show you how uh, app I have created for converting CSV to OFX files. CSV is comma separated files and OFX is an um, uh, uh, open financial exchange format file, usually banking information. So there is a possibility to convert from CSV file to OFX and I created app for this. This is my website and I will leave link to description to download app. I will double click on the load button. and uh, click on the loaded archive, double click on MSI, click on more info. I'm getting this screen because I'm not registered publisher. You can see publisher unknown, so I will just click run anyway and click on next, next install, click on yes and click on finish. I can close this now and you can see there is a, and minimize this, and you can see there is a shortcut on my desktop so to launch app i'll double click on shortcut and application will be started now conversion is like three steps process in first step we will have to um, select csv file now uh, let me show you csv file i have for um, that uh, for example like this one bank info csv so this csv file contains information about bank transaction and um, it contains for example amount transaction id um, this is just because like it's excel view and it's showing um, excel in uh, csv in weird format uh, let me show you in you know, just uh, in editor so <clears throat> you can see there is a, a transaction id and uh, first uh, row of csv file is usually column names and then uh, all further rows are data and you can see there is amount, checksum, currency, date when transaction is happening and so on. And we will convert this CSV file into uh, OFX file and on first step I will select um, files that just as I showed you called um, bank info CSV. Yep, this one and just click on open and go to next step. Next step, uh, I will, uh, as you can see, there is a first row of input file has column of names. This is our case uh, because our CSV file has a first row, has all column names in it, so I will leave it checked. And here I have to, uh, on, a, on the left side, there is a OFX columns. Now, on the right side, it will be columns from our CSV file. And if I click, you can see there are all CSV files here. So now, uh, CSV columns here. And uh, now, um, I, my task is to match um, uh, OFX file to CSV file. If you will have a different CSV file, you will have different columns here. But it's not a problem. Um, uh, if you just match OFX to your CSV, like this account type to account, date to date, amount to amount ID is transaction ID, check number is check number, reference number, or uh, it's, it's usually like reference number, yep, uh, memo column to memo, and here is a different thing. Uh, OFX file contains a header which contains information about bank. So I will do like my bank, for example. Currency, I have VRL and uh, amount like 100 or 1000 is a good and balance. So this is uh, information about my account at specific date, which which is in this OFX file. So I go next step. Next step. Uh, I just click run to create a fix file. Let's go and click run and uh, uh, I have to specify folder where, where file will be saved. Let's create this folder uh, and name of the file. I can change it if I want. Uh, let's leave it as it is and we can save. So now I can go and open this file. Uh, I can open this file because I have all the fix viewer. It's another app I have created for viewing content of OFX files. 
and you can see the all data is uh, converted from uh, CSV format into OFX. Yeah, basically that's it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave it in comments. Thank you.